Morning YouTubers, today we're going to be talking about how we plan on extending the range of our panda. So, we plan on taking this car down to Port Elizabeth, South Africa from uh, Tangier, Morocco and that's something in the range of 14, 15,000 kilometers that's if we go pretty much in a straight line so it's going to be a lot more because you know we plan on going to see the country and everything but uh, we're going to be taking a very very long trip so we need to find a way to maximize the fuel that we have in the car the panda stock comes with a 30 liter fuel tank and that's just not going to be enough we are going to be putting uh, making a, a new fuel cell aluminum fuel cell but we we want to maximize what we already have in there um, so what I've come up with is um, using hydrogen and uh, how are we planning on uh, making the hydrogen well, we're not going to have a gas tank full of hydrogen or anything like that but we are going to be using an an HHO generator. Uh, so what an HHO generator is, it's just a, a basically a container which has two electrodes a container full of water has two electrodes one plus, one minus and uh, that electrolyzes the water and creates hydrogen and uh, it's a pretty simple system as I said it's just two electrodes and uh, some water so how do we plan on powering this uh, HHL systems here is where the the unorthodox uh, misconception part of the video is um, every like this system has already been done on cars lots and lots and lots of times but every time that I saw it, this HHR generator was also always connected to the alternator in the car. Let's just consider that as an alternator. <laughs> always connected to the alternator in the car. And good, that, that'll power it, yeah. But the alternator is also connected Is also connected to the engine, and specifically to the crank pulley. So the problem with these uh, HHL generators is that you're creating hydrogen to feed to the engine, which in turn spins the crank, which turns the alternator, which transforms that kinetic energy into electricity, and sends it back to the generator. Well, there's a little thing called the first law of thermodynamics that says that every single time that uh, there's a conversion of energy, so any like going from chemical energy from the fuel into uh, pressure and heat, then into kinetic energy, then from kinetic energy back into electrical energy, and that goes back to the HHL generator which transforms the electricity back into hydrogen into chemical energy so you understand that uh, you know it's just not going to work because every single time that you have a conversion of energy you lose heat you lose um, uh, you have conservation of momentum and it just um, every time you have a conversion uh, of these energies you lose some of it to heat so that's why just this it might make your engine more efficient and burning more fuel than what it was doing before but you're going to be losing that efficiency in the transformations of all the of all your energies so how do we plan on uh, fixing this problem well we're just going to be deleting that 
and we plan on putting solar panel. So our panda is already going to have solar panels on top to charge the batteries for all the lights and uh, water pump and uh, you know just all of the si different systems that we are going to be having on the car so we already have solar panel we already have batteries in there so the energy will be coming from the sun into the solar panel up to our generator that eliminates all of this stuff going on here which is just crazy and uh, basically just adds a source of energy to the car instead of trying to use energy that's already inside of the petrol to run a more efficient engine so with this we plan on uh, stretching our efficiency to a bigger degree and uh, hopefully use less fuel this is also where our uh, Speedo, you know, ECU comes into play, because ha it has completely reprogrammable pre inputs and outputs, and we can actually make a controller that sits in between here. This goes to our batteries. This goes to a controller that powers the HHL generator and has an input and output to our engine control unit. This is going to be essential because we are going to be trying to uh, control this control the amount of uh, hydrogen that goes inside of the engine as we need it and as we add hydrogen we're going to be trying to take away fuel and because the sun is variable and it's not always going to be a sunny day and this and that there's a lot of different variations we need a controller to be able to just uh, send the right amount of hydrogen and the right amount of fuel to the engine we do have a bit of a cushion with hydrogen because it has uh, air fuel ratio that is very variable. What an air fuel ratio is, is just the amount of air and fuel that the engine needs to burn that um, fuel homogeneously and completely. Um, the stoichiometry ratio for uh, gasoline is 14.7 to 1 and you can range you, you do have a bit of a range you can go as low as 11 all the way up to 15 maybe 16 but uh, you start getting in uh, really really hot uh, and possibility of uh, engine knock and on this side of the scale you just start using a lot of fuel instead with uh, hydrogen H2 you have the stoichiometric ratio of, uh, ratio of hydrogen I think is third oops 34 to 1 something around there but the range you can go all the way up to 180 to 1. Oops. Jesus. The range on hydrogen can go all the way up to 180 to 1. So we do have a little bit of a cushion in the sense that we can send a really low amount of fuel, or sorry, a really low amount of hydrogen to the engine and it'll still work. I'm curious to see what the oxygen sensor on the car or let's get the one here. Put this 
This is just an oxygen sensor and it's going to be telling me on the car when I start feeding it hydrogen. I'm really curious on that and hopefully it's going to make a lot better. Uh, we're going to get a lot better mileage. And uh, yeah, we're going to get a lot better mileage. And I'll just make the trip a lot better, I think. And we can always disconnect it if uh, it, you know if we don't need it at the moment, or we have that low batteries and and anything in that sense. We don't have um, sun or. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really cool, uh, really cool project. And uh, because of this change here, that's going to allow us to actually make this system work properly not just trying to make your engine more efficient it just not, doesn't work that way laws of fir the first law of thermodynamics just doesn't allow it hope that hope that it explains it and uh, i'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe like comment if you have any questions if you think that uh, any suggestions if you think um, that uh, this is a cool uh, project uh, Please subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.